What's up guys, so um, different setup today, did not uh, pull up the camera and, and, and wake up with the ca uh, pull up the camera in the morning, did my usual routine, but actually started off the day with 10k steps on the stepper, and so everything else is cherry on top, which is amazing. Um, but today's going to be a little bit different, had active recovery day and abs day, knocked that out. I'm just going to pull up the camera, unusual setup, and have a conversation with you. Um, there's my wife, say hello. <laughs> I'm waiting for her to finish her workout. Anyways, so pretty much we're gonna talk about, um, just real quick guys, I was asked this question, at what point of the day are you allowed to indulge in something not entirely healthy? Um, as you guys have followed me, I do uh, follow the 80-20 principle, where 80% of your week or day is healthy, nutritious, macros, um, high volume, low calorie foods, uh, as best as possible, non-processed, right? Um, and you're going to be focusing on hitting your protein and when you hit your protein now you can kind of worry about the rest right so like my strategy is like I'll make sure that my first few meals will be high protein focused with some carbs a little bit of carbs and then you know whatever is included in there whether that's the fat macros or whatnot because at the end of the day I still end on a very balanced diet macro pie scale I guess you could say so uh, then because of that, because I focus on that, now I get to sort of strategize and end the day, right, with a snack of my liking, uh, whether it's healthy or not, right? Uh, most of the time it's on the unhealthier side, right? My cinnamon rolls, my, um, uh, what do you call it? My cinnamon rolls, a cookie, a crumble cookie, some chocolate or something like that. But I still highly recommend choosing uh, making better choices when it comes to the snacks. There's healthier alternatives of it. But if you've already focused on hitting your calories and your ma the, your protein macros, now um, you get to enjoy the rest of the night. Sort of get into that parasympathetic state, right? Your resting state where you eat, you, you indulge in, in a snack that you enjoy. Um, therefore, you're able to sustain the fat loss or, you know, the fat loss or the fitness journey that you're on. Uh, instead of restricting every single thing because if you do that you're gonna end up crash dieting and binge eating because you've been neglecting everything and you've been li literally eating chicken rice and plain broccoli or whatever the case may be right I used to do that it's all good but again if you focus on hitting uh, your, your protein your protein macros and then your carbs and fats and kind of let that fall into place you, and you leave room for enough calories for a snack or two um, then that's when you can that's when you are allowed to indulge into something that's not in the entirely healthy so again focus on your protein let the rest follow leave enough calories once you've hit that leave that room for that 300 400 five maybe up, 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 up upwards of 600 calories for a snack that's if you you probably if you, if you have 600 calories left that means you, you've kept your fats lean uh, maybe you kept your, your 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 protein lean, which is a, a good choice. And now you have a, a lot more room. I know I'm yapping here and whatnot, but again, um, that is how you can enjoy it. Now, which day, which time of the day do I prefer to having these snacks? Of course, nighttime. Um, you're not going to gain weight by eating it late night. It doesn't matter. All all that matters is how much you burn and consume through that day. Again, calorie deficit. So if you're in a calorie deficit, it's not going to matter. Uh, but I enjoy it at, the, at nighttime because a snack or something like that is sort of like a sleeper tool for me. It's like a comfort food for me. So once I eat it, I'm, I'm satisfied and I just want to lay in bed. 
versus if you have it during the day, your it's a simple sugar, so your blood sugar is going to spike. And if you're not going to use it for a workout right away, and you're trying to, maybe you're at work or trying to will your way through the day, your blood sugar is going to drop. And guess what? You're either going to be tired. Um, or you're going to be hungry again right away and you're going to be looking for the next snack and which is a no-no and that is why we want to focus on hitting our protein first and then let the macros follow make sure you hit your carbs and fats and then when you have enough room once you hit your protein then you can enjoy a semi unhealthy or even unhealthy snack if you wanted to um, and then go from there so hopefully that helps different setup today but uh, hopefully that helps answer your question and again, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and drop a comment with more questions. Um, would love to an answer more with videos like these. So I'm going to wait for my wife to finish her workout, but uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Let's go.